Hello, this is Eric Forgette from NetApp with a demonstration of the Create Rapid Clones feature of the Rapid Cloning Utility 3.0. For this demonstration, we'll produce six new Windows XP based virtual machines at 10 gig each. We'll apply a SysPrep INI based guest customization specification to each, place them in a VM folder named Desktop Demo, place them into the Desktop's OU within Active Directory power on the virtual machines and all of this should take about 1 minute and 20 seconds using almost no additional space in the data store. We'll start by taking a look at the guest customization specification. In this case it's called demo. As we flip through the answer file you'll notice that we have computer name equals asterisk under user data. Under normal conditions this would cause sysprep to generate a random host name. What I'll show you in a minute is a new feature of RCU 3.0 which allows you to set the computer name equal to the virtual machine name. If we page down a little further you can see where I'm adding the virtual machine to the RCU Active Directory domain and specifically into the desktop's organizational unit. Speaking of the desktop's OU, I'll flip over and show you within the Active Directory tool that we do have an OU called desktops and at this point it is empty. As in previous versions of the tool, to create rapid clones, right click on the virtual machine or template and choose NetApp Create Rapid Clones. Select the controller you want to work with. Choose the destination and you'll notice now at the bottom you can specify which VM folder we want to create the clones in. In this case I'm going to choose desktop demo. You now have the option to change the format of the VMDK files of the VM. You can either leave it as is, make it thin, or change it to thick. So for this demo we're going to create six new clones. I'm going to call them a quick demo and I'm going to apply a guest customization specification. When I select demo, because it's a sysprimp INI based answer file uh, guest customization specification, I get a new checkbox option that says use virtual machine name as computer. And I'm going to check that to true. I'm going to check the box for power on. We want them to actually turn on and run the customization. Choose our data store for the destination quick look at the summary and apply. Pop open the tasks here so we can see what's going on. We've got our main task and we have initiated an initial copy which is already completed. We're gonna flex clone the virtual disks so make the remaining virtual hard drives that we need by offloading that work to the controller. and we start creating clones here. If we go up we can see they're being created in the desktop demo folder as we specified. The reconfiguration task that you see is the attachment of the virtual hard drive whose cloning we've offloaded to the controller and then of course we're applying a guest customization to each of the guest OS's. Once that's complete, the virtual machines power up. Since powering up the virtual machine takes a minute or two, I'm going to fast forward and we'll see if we can jump into and catch one of the virtual machines as the guest customization is being applied. 
All right, there we are. You can see that the guest customization is being applied. Finishing up some final tasks. And this machine should reboot now. So will this VM and the others reboot? Uh, we'll flip back over to the Active Directory tool and take a look in our OU called Desktops. And sure enough, we have our new virtual machines all registered. You'll notice that the guest name does in fact match the virtual machine name. Okay, so we'll flip back over to the Virtual Center client again. If we take a look at the master task there at the bottom, NetApp Rapid Clone Virtual Machine, you can see that it did in fact only take 1 minute and 20 seconds. Okay, so let's just review the result. Uh, we wanted to clone a Windows XP virtual machine. We did in fact create 6 new virtual machine clones. We successfully applied the answer file based guest cus spec to each virtual machine. We did place them in the desktop demo folder. We placed them in the desktop's organizational unit in AD. The virtual machines were powered on and we did complete that in 1 minute 20 seconds. And because we used the file level flex clone, that consumed almost no additional space in our data store. Thanks for watching and remember, go further faster with a rapid cloning utility from NetApp.